Hello, this is Bridget. I just wanted to drop in today and give you guys the measurements and whatnot that you might be needing or wanting before purchasing one of my bags and a walkthrough of what bags I have just so you know what they are, what they're used for, and uh, maybe that will help you uh, make your decision a little bit easier. I just has uh, been requested that I do measurements instead of just what fits in um, inside as in balls. Um, so we will start with this little fella here. It's about three inches tall. When the flaps are done, um, and it's stuffed, at least with this yarn. If we take the yarn out and we go from the bottom of the bag to the top, we're at about four and a half inches. This is my cake sack or 100 gram cake bag. I have right now currently I didn't have any caked up. I have two 50 gram balls of sock yarn in there. But this will very easily hold your sock, your yarn, your needle, so that you can just pop this in your purse or pocketbook or bag that you're taking along with you. You can snap it this way and work from the top, or you can snap it crossways and hold all your things inside nice and secure until you're ready to use it again. Okay. Next is our extra large cake bag aka the takeout bag. Now this bag will hold a uh, 150 grams of yarn from top to bottom, it's a little over four inches tall with the cake in it. This bag is wonderful for when you are walking and working at the same time or on the go. It's got the nice wrist strap and you can work directly from the top. I currently have a uh, cotton cake in here. Let's see, there we go. And this is 8.8 .8 ounces or a 250 gram ball. Now, if we uh, take it out and do the measurement again, we're at about six inches um, with the flaps down. Next, we will do the royal cake sack. And now this one will actually hold a bigger uh, cake than it than I actually have right now in it. Um, this one here with this cake in it, it's about six inches, but this one is actually quite a bit bigger. This is great for your great big cakes, your giant uh, Karen cakes, your panda cakes. Um, actually, I think that's actually what's in here is a giant panda cake. Now, this is 1,600 yards of yarn. Mm, it doesn't have the actual weight. Um, but, like I said... This bag will actually hold an entire Karen cake. And without the yarn inside, without the flaps, we are at 8 inches. With the flaps, we are at about 10 inches. So this can definitely be used as a project bag. But I use it to hold my larger cake sand that will not fit inside of a cake cozy. And I do make those as well. I just only make them generally on request because I've just got so much time in bags. 
All right, then this bag comes in three different options. This is the zipper style bag. Now, this one here is a little over six inches tall. This is the hook and needle bag, but of course you can put yarn in it as well. I currently have two hanks in it and they fit in there nice and cozy. So if you just wanted to go on a little overnight trip and take you a uh, a ball of yarn and a you know a small project that would work very well for that. Oh, let me give you the other measurements. I told you how high it is. It is about ten inches wide. This one is also going to be that same ten inches wide. This is the drawstring option, and with the flap, it is uh, eight inches tall. Now you can also get this with snaps on the top or three snaps along the top rather than the drawstring. That is the third option for this bag. Now here is my small Japanese knot bag. As you can see, that is how you close it. You throw your large handle through your short and then you can walk and work and you can work out of your bag as you're using it. Now this bag holds three of the five ounce balls of yarn and it is 11 and a half inches tall by 10 inches wide. The medium Japanese knot bag this has four of those same five ounce balls. This one is 13 and a half inches tall by 12 inches wide. And a side by side comparison is your small to your large. Don't worry, I do have pictures at the end with uh, the names of the bags. Now, this is my large Japanese knot bag. Now, this one, long in. Is, there we go, 19 inches tall. By about 16 inches wide. This one is currently holding four one pound balls of yarn plus a seven ounce ball of yarn with room to spare. Now, let me show it's very hard to do all of this. The medium bag versus the large bag. Now this next one is my largest bag out of all. It is bigger than my uh, uh, biggest tote bag and biggest zipper bag. This one here is approximately 24 and a half inches tall. by about 18 inches wide. Again, this is the knot style, so you can close up this way. This has way too many balls of yarn to count. I believe there are 18 or 20 in this bag. Now, let's move down the bench a little bit here. There we go. Here is our small tote style bag which you can get with snaps or without my small zipper bag which you can have a grommet hole put in so that your yarn can come out of your bag while your bag is zipped up and then you can just pop it into your bag um, and keep on going just not zipping it all the way of course 
So these bags all contain, these next four bags have the same measurements, whether they are the tote style or whether they are the zipper style. The tote style is about 11, or for the small, is about 11 inches tall by about 10 inches wide. And then our medium is about 13 inches tall by about 12 inches wide. Now here is your medium and small side by side. There we go. Our large is about 15 inches tall and approximately 18 inches wide. And again, here we'll do a comparison side by side. There's the medium and there is the large. Here's the small and there's the large. And now this one is an extra large tote bag. Also comes in a zipper bag. It is 16 and a half inches tall by 18 inches wide. I do believe. Now I have measured all of these, of course, with them stuff stuffed. They may be a little bit longer when they are unstuffed or wider when they are unstuffed. But for holding how much they hold, this one, the small, holds three five ounce balls of yarn. The medium has four in the bottom and one on top, so five, five ounce balls of yarn. This large one here has five seven ounce balls of yarn plus a five ounce ball of yarn, and you could stick a ball or two on the top yet. This large bag here has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten balls, seven ounce balls of yarn in it. So it is slightly smaller than our jumbo bag, our jumbo blanket bag. Maybe one day I will add a jumbo size to this line. But for right now, this is what we have. I hope that you guys enjoy these bags. I'm sorry that um, I don't make movie quality quality videos. I, I'm, I'm doing the best that I can. I'm better at making the things than making the videos. Uh, but I will put some pictures at the end with the names of the bags and their, um, yeah, the names of the bags on them so that you if you need to come back and reference that for when you want to make an order, you're able to pull this video up and just go to those pictures. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all of your support. And until next time, I truly hope that you are crafting your happiness. Bye for now.